Does anyone else think it's slightly strange that Hannibal finished back in 2015 and yet it's still one of the most talked about shows on Tumblr? Huh. Hi everyone, welcome to Eververse Games and today we're doing the Beginner's Guide to Hannibal. I know this is slightly different from the first two but it's such a good show and I had to do it. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Hannibal as a show was not one I watched straight away, mostly because I'm quite young. So in 2015, I was 13, 14, depending on the month. Well, it was, yeah, I was 13 because it ended in August. Anyway, so I didn't really watch it back then because I would say it is, a, it is an R rated show. You know, it's an 18, it's quite gruesome. Even now, there's some scenes where I'm like, jeez. But yeah, I, I had to watch it. Um, it recently got put on Netflix, so I was like, you know what, I'm actually going to finish watching the show. And I'm so glad I at least finished watching the first season, it's great. So because of that, I'm only going to be touching on things that happened in season one. But, I'm just going to say, the show is it's amazing. I can see why people love it so much. And, yeah, um, so yeah, let's just crack on. We're going to talk about Will, Hannibal, and the first season, we're just going to touch on a bit here and there. But yeah, so sit tight, hand back, and the first place we're going to be talking about is the main man himself, Hannibal Lecter. Now, obviously a lot of people will know that he's not the only person to portray Hannibal Lecter. Um, Anthony Hopkins portrayed him in Silence of the Lambs, but this is a very different, I, at least I think, a very different portrayal of the character. Uh, Maz Mikkelsen just does an amazing job of making it his own. Um, it's, it's when you watch it, you're so confused. You're like, I should not be rooting for this guy. He is a cannibal. He's, he's not a completely good person. And yet, when I watch the show and he's eating someone, I'm like, oh yeah, I bet they deserved it. And most of the time, you know, they're not good people, so... I'm like, yeah, you, you do, dude. But yeah, Maz is such such a great actor as a whole. Like, I love him. If I see something with him in, I mean, like, oh, I'm going to watch this. <laughs> but um, he's the reason I started watching Hannibal in the first place. I was like, I know he's cool. I'm going to watch the show. Um, I love the way he just is, the nuances, the jokes that he has. Like, um, So spoilers, obviously, for season one. But one of my favourite bits in the show is when they're going to Abigail's house and Abigail's like, oh, we're going to redo the mood. Okay, you play my mum, you play my dad. Hannibal, you played the girl on the phone. And Hannibal's just like, oh, shit. That was me on the phone. <laughs> Obviously, it's dramatic irony. We as the audience know who he is. The rest of the characters don't know who he is yet. Um, another favourite bit of mine, It was. it's not really um, just a Hannibal moment. It's Will as well. So it's... It cuts to Will uh, with the other FBI uh, agents looking at these bodies and Will's like, oh, I bet someone's making them into a sausage as we speak. And it cuts to Hannibal, yeah, making the meat into the sausage and he's having a hell of a time. He's like, yeah, I'm just enjoying cooking, you know, I've got to make some gourmet shit over here. Honestly, like if I went to one of his meals and he, he was like, oh, it's not vegetarian, I'd be like, dude, I don't know who this is, but I'm going to eat it because it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, as I say, he really makes the show for me and I definitely recommend watching it just for Hannibal. Um, uh, what I particularly love about season one is, obviously we know from the beginning that he's the Hannibal and it's a slow build up and obviously at the end of season one he's like, sorry Will, <laughs> I'm out, <laughs> I love you baby. I love that he cries, he feels bad but he still did it anyway. <laughs> So for, before I go into Will, um, I just want to say that I was so delighted to find out that Hugh Dancy is from Stoke-on-Trent. And you might be thinking, what the hell, where's this place? That exactly. Where, I, ah, uh, I don't know any actor that is from Stoke-on-Trent. I'm from Stoke-on-Trent. And to find out that I live in the same place as well, at least where he was from. Oh my god, you dance, he's stokey. Oh, I was. Uh, anyway, anyway. So, you dancey portrays Will Graham, and I have to say that Will, um, it's a it's a tie before, between my favorite characters. I love Will. I particularly love that you, he is so desperate. You know, like he's there's moments where you feel so sorry for him because you know he's not crazy, and yet he's just so convinced he's gone insane 
And for me, one moment that made it really sad for me is when he goes to Hannibal's and he's like, don't you see this man? And Hannibal's like, which man? Because he's like, I'm going to make friends with this other killer, Will. God. (laughs) But I I loved Will. I love that he, you know, just wants to live with his dogs and he doesn't really want to solve crimes. It's just there by like, we need this man because he could do really good jobs as this a criminal profiler and yeah unfortunately will is really good at his job which is a terrible for him because that's the whole reason he starts to go insane gosh <laughs> but obviously just because we just uh we're just focusing on season one so um i have to say the bit at the end where you know he gets taken and he's arrested i was like oh my god it's not even will will is not the killer and yet the all these people including jack are like this man is a killer and i'm like he's a wet cat leave the boy alone god um i have to say i love you dancies and maz mickelson's chemistry as well it's all it's so good and i think that's what makes this show just supreme you know this was like the blueprint for like the gay shippers <laughs> were like because mm. you know how sometimes the ships won't come out of nowhere it, that does not feel um the case with hannah graham and yeah i'm talking about hannah graham because you can't talk about nbc's hannibal without talking about hannah graham do you know how many edits hannah graham edits i've seen on tiktok in the past week i don't know if it's because i dreamt it or what so literally as i just said you can't really talk about hannibal without talking about hannah graham for me this was more popular to me than like john Locke or destiel or whatever mostly because um it's one of those ships where you're like should i ship it 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 can be toxic and i'm like most ships are toxic if you're gonna ship it just do it you know it's got a great fan fiction mas mickelson can tell you that but hannah graham for me is the thing that makes this show the reason the show is popular you know and it's okay if you don't ship them that's fine but um i have to say i've read some fun fiction where i'm like jesus christ this is this this isn't what the show's like and then you watch the show and then you're like oh no this this is what the show's like the show is an accurate depiction (laughs) i i just love it i love how will goes from you know a good person to cannibal associate and yes i know that's not exactly season one but season one's a build-up it's a three-parter it's brilliant beginning middle and end and all that shenanigans but one of my favorite things is a behind the scenes photo uh, video when they were supposed to do a kiss and i'm like why was that not him but um you know it's when they're falling off that cliff (laughs) so (laughs) but uh, yeah um i absolutely love hanagram as a ship and i don't love that many as much as i love this (laughs) They are absolutely, exclusively murder husbands. And I love it because I, I remember seeing this fan art of Villain Eve and Hannah Graham and it was like together. And I'm like, this is it, murder husbands and murder wives. And obviously I do not condone murder at all, but this is fiction, it's different. They're not real people. And I absolutely love Hannah Graham. And I'm going to keep saying it. It'll be on my tombstone. R.I.P. Alice Hanagram. <laughs> so yeah, that was a beginner's guide to Hannibal, and I really should have named it a beginner's guide to Hanagram instead. <laughs> but yes, uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been a joy ride, and I'm thinking of doing a film next time. And I know, I think I know what film to pick. Hmm, I'm gonna, gonna tune it up a little bit. So yeah, thank you so much for us for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Oh yeah, so something that is coming up soon. So next Saturday, I'm going to be doing a Saturday night game night over on Twitch. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. I've decided to do Skyrim. Uh, So if you guys can join, please do. That would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a hell of a ride. And I cannot wait for next time. Um, If you guys did enjoy, please do think of leaving a like, a comment, and do subscribe if you're new. It's always fun to see you around. And I shall see you guys in the next video of mine. See you later, guys. I love you. Bye!